I'm standing here on 39th Avenue in Sunnyside at Queens' first bike boulevard. And New York City DOT has been installing this over the past few months and it's pretty much ready to go now. One of the most notable differences is the slowdown in traffic, of the decrease in speeding. I absolutely feel safer not having to compete with cars. It's totally been beneficial to me using the lanes and getting out on my bike a lot more. When I come through here, I can now once in a while ride side by side with the person I'm riding with. We can carry on a conversation. Because it switches from an enhanced shared lane to a protected bike lane, because there's so many turnoffs for cars, there's not a lot of car traffic, it just feels like like you're gliding. My, my kids were saying, Mom, take a cab. No way am I going to take a cab. I want to ride my bike. And I can go into my doctor, and I'll be going on Bike Boulevard, protected bike lanes for the entire trip except for one block. That's pretty good. Well, having grown up in Sunnyside, I've biked on 39th Avenue for as long as I can remember, because even back in the old days, it was one of the recommended routes. For the past six years, I've been biking with my child. We really enjoy it. It's really safe now that it's the Bike Boulevard. We ride it at least once a week to visit my mom, and we get to leave the car at home. I live in Dutch Kills, and I had to return some books at the library, so I thought I would take the Bike Boulevard. Um, it's nice because it connects, you know, Western Queens uh, and Central Queens, Eastern Queens. It's a great conveyance and it is quieter. I feel safer. We both get around the neighborhood, not only on bikes, we also do a lot of walking with this guy here. And uh, he's not a fan of car noise and it's been a much better place for him to walk since this uh, new design went in, so we're very happy about it. Normally our bike lanes are so narrow, but here they're wide enough for, for people to, uh, to ride with each other. They're also wide enough to accommodate joggers and walkers, and that's super important too. If you look at this on the map, this looks like some insignificant little eight block stretch in just another neighborhood in Queens. But if you're trying to ride a bike from Eastern Queens toward Manhattan, you know that this is this crucial gap. So I'm gonna attempt to take you through almost block by block how this thing works. Now first, New York City DOT created this pedestrian plaza using some simple planters and boulders to define the edges of it. These first two blocks feature a contraflow separated bike lane heading east, while bikes share the roadway with cars going west. Then for the next two blocks, the original two-way roadway on 39th Avenue is as existed. Then we enter the main feature of the boulevard, a traffic diverter at 50th Street, which requires car owners to turn off the boulevard using a diagonal stretch of hard plastic flexi post to channel car traffic. And while some car drivers are not happy about it, it has ultimately reduced traffic volumes and speeds. For the rest of the bike boulevard, sometimes you'll be traveling with cars and sometimes you'll have your own lane until it finishes at Woodside Avenue. Right from the start was just how it's basically completely eliminated the worst uh, speeding along 39th Avenue. When this was a two-way street, you really would see people that would just use this as a shortcut. When we had an open street, I would go out and sample the speeds of drivers before we put the barricades and after. Here we did a, documented a consistent drop of five to six miles per hour, and yet cars were still speeding like crazy. And now it's become a premier bike boulevard. It sort of was a de facto one, but now it feels so much safer and much nicer. Regardless of what you call it, it's really been a positive development. Uh, safety is a top priority and should be in every community. You know, we see some people that don't know how to read many, many signs and many pavement markings. And that's definitely a problem, but I think as more people um, get used to it and as more, you know, GPS and stuff reroutes people past it, I think it's just going to really be such a valuable asset for the neighborhood and something that people in other neighborhoods uh, across the city will want for themselves. We have the dog photo shoot going on on the other side of the uh, stop sign there. It's already a nice community gathering place, multi-species. <laughs>